Hey everyone, welcome back for more Tales of Graces of... Uh, last time we defeated Mercurius in front of here and learned about the illusion of, pa of Sophie. And we met Pascal too. Sweet! And discovery. Projection device. Takes one to know one. What's your take on this, Asbel? About? About the Sophie that appeared in the machine. It was nearly a perfect double of her. Don't you even have a theory? Not really. That isn't like you at all, Asbel. Aren't you supposed to be her guardian? Supposed to be, but I don't know anymore. Come on, Asbel. Get it together. You're all she has. I am? You belong by her side. Having found myself in a similar situation, it is a feeling I know well. In fact, even now I continue to be in your debt. Thanks, Richard. I appreciate it. Why are you thanking me? Well, it just felt like the right thing to say. Aww. Anyways, this episode I've decided to go a little bit of a different route, and I'm actually using Richard for this episode. I decided to use some of the other characters for an episode or so. And, uh, Richard, since, uh, I've played as Sophie already, so I'm just playing as Richard this time around. Uh, he has got, uh, as I mentioned before, he's got... Ooh, Sword Rain Alpha. Sweet. No, you don't. Ah, let's just use Assault Arts for a little... Oh, they're weak to the arts. Better get away. Oh, God, I'm petrified! No! No, the raptors! No! Ah, damn it. Great start to using Richard, Sean. Great start to using Richard. <laughs> well, it doesn't help that Aswell just sat back. He, he isn't set to manual or something, right? Yeah, he, he, he's attacking. Uh, oh, right, I wanted to get back anyway. So, let's see. Oh, jeez. No, you don't. Sword Deluge! Um, I believe that just does a big rain of, uh... Of, uh, uh, of blades from the sky. If I want to use Soul Reap. Uh, that actually drains some health from the enemy. Uh, that's kind of cool. Yoink. Aw. Oh, that attribute man. Cool. Um, uh, changing arts. Uh, I've, did I completely decided to skip that? What did that say? I need, I need to stop skipping those things. Those things are actually good. <laughs> Uh, changing targets, changing arts, or charging arts. Right, some B arts require time to charge. If you hold the circle button and use the uh, left trigger, uh, the left control stick. Oh, right, yeah. If uh, with magic spells, if you are charging them, you're able to actually change which target you are targeting. Uh, right now, uh, sorry. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm basically just running around looking to see if there's any items I missed or anything like that. Uh, we B arts. Um. Yoink. So yeah, while it's charging, I can char change to any target I want to. Uh, oh, I stopped charging there. Uh, but I think that only matters if you're targeting, uh, I think that only matters if you are using a surface area, uh, if you're using an attack that actually targets yourself, I think. Nice, Richard. That was impressive. Well, I'm nowhere near your level, Asbel. Yeah, for some reason it wasn't changing targets. I thought it changed it anyway. Reducing casting time. Richard's A arts are rapier attacks, while his B arts are spells. If you follow an A art with a B art, the casting time for the B art will be decreased. Using uh, one A art decreases by 15% by while two, you know, 13%. This trick applies to all other characters too. Now, what would happen if you used four A arts? Uh, 60%. Either that or it's like exponentially scales up and it's like instant. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I used four ARs, I wouldn't have enough CC to use the other <laughs> Oh, God, except if I used a problem. Oh, no, I don't want to go to strategy. That's where you could change the AI settings. Um, if you continue to hold circle after casting is complete, you can activate a blue charge, which lets you choose the when the art is unleashed, and with certain skill, you can activate a red charge, which adds additional attributes to the arts. Okay, so if I hold circle and... Oh, I have to hold circle. I don't think you have to do that in Tales of Vesperia, which is what I was going off of. Where am I going now? Let's see. I'm going back looking around for items, just because I think I knocked that one block up here, which is, um... Uh, okay, so that's still a dead end. I don't think... Maybe it's in a different area. Maybe you have to go the other way. I know you have to go back up to get out of here, like, uh, from the other side of Mercurius. Like, there's two floors to this place. We went down one floor, fought Mercurius, and we still have to go up one floor to get out. So, uh... 
Like right now we're on the second floor. Um Anything down here? Nope. Yeah, let's go over this way, see what's on the other side. Um Yeah, that was way too far away from that other area anyway. Let's go looking around for items I missed. Yeah, you have to go back up here. And are we at the end or something like that? Ah, just, uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I, yeah, this is the, the one bad side about doing this is obviously, you, you, one, you don't have enough CC at points. Oh, actually, that went pretty quick. Cool. Yeah, that actually, that, that actually makes a pretty big difference. Ah, no! Yeah, then you get hit by attacks if you don't stun them or anything. Is Pascal on fire? Oh, no, she's using fire skills. Away with you pests. Sweet. That was pretty cool. I was basically using a Soul Reaper, which is the absorbing move, which takes a portion, uh, damages it and takes the, and absorbs some of the health from it. Hyperdense Crystal! A crystal that can be dualized with certain armaments. When touched, the time seems to slip away. Uh, some of the, oh, hi, I knocked that away. Uh, some weapons, uh, you can dualize with certain items to become new, better weapons. Uh, yeah, that's a, so that's an item that does that. Uh, I think that block just moved the... Or is it... Oh, no, there we go. Uh, there's another green one over there. That was cheap. Oh, he's right, right, not Asbel. Not Asbel. Oh, oh god, Pascal's almost dead. Pascal is dead. Sweet. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to admit, this is the first time I used Richard. I never used Richard in the first place of the game. Damn it, Pascal, stop dying! I need to kill something else. Uh, that raptor's going to die. Let's kill this cave raptor. Oh, right, not Asbel. Sweet. Sword right off of. Go! Sweet. Uh, some of you have noticed some of the names are the same uh, as uh, previous games. Yes, the uh, Tales of series actually repeats the same move. Starting off as one constant that's in a lot of different games. It was in Tales of Asperia. It's been in... Uh, I'm guessing it was in Symphonia. I can't remember. It's in lots of different games, though. So, uh, yeah. Ow! Aww. But yeah, they use a lot... They reuse a lot of names and such. But they're not the only series to do it, like, Final Fantasy series reuses the summon names all the time. Doesn't make the games any worse, so... There we go. Floral Anklet! I think that's something for Sophie. A pretty anklet. Floral Anklet. Do I have anything else here? No, iron is better than bronze. No, that's it. Richard with his cloaks. His royal cloak. Oh god, there's two... Oh god damn it, there's two different ways to go. Let's go this way. Where does this lead? Uh, so we're heading to the north, according to the compass. Steel tunic. Um, is that better than the iron guard? Uh, not really. What about you? Lowers, yeah, let's take that. It lowers the increased defense by two, but it raises the physical defense by a lot. The gain is much greater. Uh, ah, no. Oh, wait. Am I back at the start? I, I thought I recognized the area, but I could be wrong. No, 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 no. There we go. Ha, ha, ha. Blue charge. Sweet. Okay, so that's how it works. Sometimes I can't help but envy you, Pascal. Go skipping. <laughs> I've seen that one already. Um, so we came from the west there, so we're the south. Where does this lead? Ascend. Where does this lead me? Oh, treasure chest. Life bottle. Cool. Uh, right. I think I needed some. Do I need to knock some block into this so I can step onto it? I think I have to do that. 
stumbling my way about because I don't know the dun this dungeon that well. These dungeons are really confusing to me. Like uh, I, I understand the basic comp uh, the basic idea behind them, but I just get lost in them so easily. But I think that's why they're kind of hi. That's the block I needed. Now I can go back up. Yeah, there, there's several kind of uh, several of these kinds of dungeons in this game, and uh, they just get. I find them the most confusing because they're the hardest to keep track of where you're going. Uh, yeah, I need to go. Up. Which I guess is kind of the idea behind them, but. Uh, let's go this way. Go across. Descend. Um, what's over here? Nothing. That's nice. Let's go this way. Where the hell are we now? Um. Oh, there's a safe point. Is this the exit? Is this the exit? Hmm. I hope it's not. Because if it is, I'm going back. Oh god, I don't know if this is the exit. Okay, it's not the exit. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, that's the exit. Let's go this way. Let's do it this way. I think this is the quick way back to the entrance. All these dungeons always have, like, really long, elongated path to get to the exit. And then, short path to get back to the start. That's how all these dungeons are. Like, yeah. So you can, just so you have to go through the long way once. And if you have to go back, you don't want to have to do that. Uh, this is going to fire it across. There we go. Sweet. Um, but oftentimes you want to take this back path just because it'll actually lead you to more. Goodies and prizes. Um, yeah, this one's going to go across, hit the pink one, and I'll be off on my way to victory. There we go. Sweet treasure chest. Another panache bottle. Right, that's what I wanted to do. I'm going to change my elf mixer. i got a lot of life bottles now. I already took the life bottle off. I want to put the uh, panacea bottle on because I have none. Um, syrup bottles are pretty cool because it, uh, actually syrup bottles would be pretty good against the Mercurius because uh, they stop paralysis from working. So that would pretty much make his end, um, like last third half battle strategy useless with that that area of effect uh, paralysis. Uh, uh, petrification, sorry. Uh, yeah, attack, go away. Um, let's see here. Uh, I know these things uh, increase defense and uh, the stats permanently, but you want to keep them around uh, because uh, later on uh, you can actually dualize these things with a couple of different items. Uh, I can't remember. I think it's just one item. Uh, you could dualize them and actually increase their effect, so you want to keep them around right now. Um, uh, Mastery Tonic C is still in there. Uh, you don't need to have an item in here, like... Uh, you don't need to have an item in your inventory to make it. You just need to have it in your inventory once. So as long as you've had it in your inventory at some time, you can replenish it. Uh, like, uh, if I were to use up all my apple gels, I could still throw the item apple gel in there and it would actually learn its burn charm. I'll leave it off. Um, plop. I think this is, yeah, that's the entrance, okay. Now I have to go all the way back this path because I've knocked all the blocks away, so I have to go back on this path. Um, but there was one path to the left I want to go down again. Uh, people have been asking me if I'm going to be cutting out all the fights in this, like I did with uh, Tales of Vesperia. Right now, I am not planning to, just because these fights usually go pretty quickly. Uh, Tales of Asperia, the fights usually got pretty long later in the game, but these this game's a lot, a lot more. It's faster paced, in my opinion, um, just because you don't have to worry about your TP. Um, you actually, there's no TP in the battle system, so it's uh, uh, your, the battles go by a lot quicker. Uh, oh, crap. Them. Are we getting a lot of health there? Um, sweet. Uh, oh crap! I need to. Uh, I, I, that's what I need to do now. 
Okay, um... I need to keep fighting things. That's what I need to do. Where is another thing I can go and fight? I need to go do a lot more fighting now. Um... Crap, which way did I come from? I think left is a dead way. Um... Oh, no, wait, this is the way to the save points. What was to the right there? Um... What's over here? Uh, oh. <laughs> There's the entrance. Well, yay! That's where I am. I thought this place looked a little familiar. Okay, let's go this way. Set a path this where we were before. This leads to the exit-ish. Or is this the exit? Yeah, that's the exit! There's there's the super fast path. The other one was just for items. Yay. Let's head north and go up and off that green one to get back to that other area which we had two green paths to take. Because I didn't take the one on the uh, left side of that. Uh, let's go back to using some A arts here. I know they're weak to B arts, but I feel more comfortable in a close range battle like this with. Uh, I, f I don't know. He doesn't have a lot of B arts, which I like right now. Like, uh, the ones that he has are pretty cool, but I. In these kinds of games, I prefer to be in melee like this. So, uh, I'm just gonna use this A arts even though I know they're to B arts. I'll fight better with the assault arts than I will with the B arts. That's what I'll say. I don't like the characters which have a mix of both. Let's go up! Uh, where the hell- Oh man, this is the exit?! There's another device here too. It looks like the one at the entrance. Yeah, that's cause it's the same thing. So, can we use it to reach the other side? Nope, this one just poofs you right into the middle of Wallbridge. Which is pretty silly, unless you want to tour a fortress. That's okay, we're in a hurry. Aw, I bet it's a fun tour. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot that was there. It's a pathway to get you into Wallbridge there. Um. Okay, now where the hell am I going then? Um. Yeah, let's go back this way. I need to go down here. Right, this is the way that leads there. Alright, right, right. I can back on track. Back on the track of, uh, places I need to go. I won't bother saving right now. Um. Plop. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Then I think we have to go up the green. Let's fight these two guys. Let's do this. Try out. Lamb. No, you don't. Sweet. I like that move. That's uh, that's the left. Uh, I'm pushing left on the stick to get that con that move going. Sordering Alpha is up and down. You were great, Pascal. Oh, you finally realized my greatness. Let's celebrate with a high five. Huh? Pound. Soul orbs. They say soul orbs can be obtained by killing a large number of, of the same foe. But once you get one, you'll never get another from the same enemy. After receiving an enemy soul orb, a star will appear ne uh, near its name in the enemy book. Um, I don't remember ever getting these things. Actually, I remember getting a lot of soul orbs. I never knew what they did. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold it. It. There's his mystic arts! I learned it a while ago. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I needed to go kill more things to show off. So when you're in an Elith Burst, you can use as many mystic arts as you want to, but... Uh, uh, you need to... You have a limited number of times. Uh, like, on the left side, there was a 1 by the gauge. That means I was able to use 1 level 1 mystic art. There's uh, 3 levels of mystic arts that uh, characters can use. Uh, mystic arts are a special art that can be uh, learned during your journey. If you uh, if you learn one, a mystic art gauge will appear on the left side of the screen during an Elith burst. This, if the gauge is left is level one or higher, you can activate the mystic arts in the middle of a combo by pr uh, by pressing L1. Um, 
yeah, as I was saying, there are three different levels, so you can go one, two, or three, and uh, depending on what level you are, and if the character actually knows they're level two or three, they'll use the higher one when they actually get, actually when they actually use it, like uh, when you actually push it. If you understand what I meant, <laughs> if you understand, uh, if you under meant what I stood, there we go. Anyways, that's what I was kind of hoping would happen there. Where am I now? Sort of wandering around. Uh, next episode, I'll probably go back to Asbel for a little bit. Um, I'll probably use Pascal in a little while later, once she learns a couple more moves or something like that. So uh, I will use all the characters at least once in an episode. I'm not guaranteeing I'll use them all. This is the path I wanted to take. Where does this lead? Oh, single treasure chest. I should have went this way first, but well. Book of Maintenance, a spell book that restores uh, up to 5% uh, of your Elith when you complete a battle without cooking. So that's actually a pretty cool one. I better put that in there. Uh, these books are kind of cool. Uh, you could throw one into your Elith mixer and they actually add special effects. Um, uh, so yeah, this one, if we don't cook anything, so if we don't cook the rice ball in battle, we'll actually gain 5% Elith back. It's kind of cool. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Next time, we're going to move out of here, probably, and uh, continue on to uh, Grail's side, I think, is where we're going. Yep. See you guys then.